Hi, David. How you doing? Um, th good job. Great presentation. Thank you. Um, okay, I noticed that you're you're um, not you haven't included your uh, par your two paragraphs on your sustainable framework. Um, so that's something you're going to have to include. Um, I, I'm looking at your trade show booth, and everything makes really good sense. Your 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 handout. Your, I, I just have a couple comments though. I, I need a complete detailed materials list for everything in your trade show booth. Um, uh, it, the materials would need to tell you need to tell what they're made of. Why are they the most sustainable, most um, responsible choice for this particular presentation? And um, and 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 just really point to research and and give me some citations on on your materials list. Materials list is probably the most important thing that we can do right now um, for this project. So I really need a detailed um, materials list. And uh, for for example, you know, you say PVC pipe podium. But covered with um, with a graphic panel. But I, I need to know what that graphic panel is made from. I need to know what the ink is used to print on it. PVC pipe. Tell me why you think that's the most sustainable choice. Um, and talk about what is made. What what is what is how do they make PVC? Give me a materials list and tell me if it's a mistake. If it's indeed a, a sustainable material. Okay. Same thing with your brochure. Um, your brochure, I think that's a really good idea. Trifold with the water cutouts. That's great. And you have your information. But the one thing I'm not seeing is, is, is this isn't really pointing to a responsible um, a discard or a responsible return. In other words, once the viewer is done with this handout, there's a really good idea. There's a really good chance it's going to end up on the trade show floor, on the parking lot, um, you know, outside the building, littered uh, on the grounds of the, the trade show um, venue, et cetera, et cetera. So the example I was using is to design up, and please, this is an example, but to design up a, a flyer with all your informational collateral on one side, all of your, I'm sorry, all your information on one side, everything that you want to present, including your call to action. Then on the other side, you do something like, oh, I don't know, maybe a trade show booth map or a trade show floor map so that the, the, that the person who takes this flyer looks over they say oh there's a map of the trade show i'm going to hang on to this so i know where everything's at so that present present for, prevents them from throwing it away and then you can even add a a coupon over on the bottom that says please turn this into booth number so and so for a voucher for free parking now you're ensuring they they return it it gets returned it's not going to be littering anything it's going to be 100 percent um, um sustainable because you've handed it out and you've received it back okay so no materials are lost no no uh, you can reuse it, and there's no chance that this is going to go into um, a irresponsible discard, um, uh, irresponsibly discarding the, the the brochure, like throwing it on the floor or into a garbage can in the bathroom. Okay, and then your 3D giveaway project. I just I really need to get the the you have it. You're saying it's a water bottle holder. That's awesome. That's a great idea. But what's it made from? Give me a materials list. Tell me why the materials used to make the water bottle holder are the most sustainable materials available for you to use. Okay, and again, give me research and citations, all right? Other than that, great job. You're off to a fantastic start. Looking forward to seeing those changes. If you have any questions, please feel free to give me a holler. Okay, thanks, Dave.